Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We all know that one of the most hard things about switching from iPhone to Android is transferring data from one device to another, like photos, videos, contacts, music, and so on. But in today's video I will use the transferred video as an example and bring you some quick methods. Let's get started. Method 1. Transfer video wirelessly. Go to Photos app. Choose the video you want to transfer. Then tap the share icon at the bottom of the screen. Here you can choose transfer by message or emails. This method is available for the small amount of video transfer. The email app will automatically compress the videos that you attach to your emails. But Apple's email service has a 20 MB attachment limit. So if you have a much bigger need, you can try to use the following method. Method 2. Transfer with ShareIt. ShareIt has the free version and it's available on both App Store and Google Play. So you can just download it on both phones. Once installed, launch ShareIt. First thing first, you need to set your iPhone as the sender. Pick up the video you need to transfer. And tap OK. Then switch to your Android phone. Set it as the receiver. Here you can scan the QR code to get an exclusive connection. Once connected, the video will be transferred instantly. It's very fast. Just go to the gallery on your Android. Then you can see your video have been transferred. But this app has too many ads, as well as can crash at any time. So you can try the next method. Method 3. Transfer video with iCare Phone. iCare Phone is a powerful tool that can help you free backup your iPhone extract iPhone backup, and manage your iPhone data like a pro. Go check the download link in the description and download it. Once finished installed, connect your iPhone to PC. Open iCare Phone. Click Manage. Choose Photos. Here you can select video or photos to transfer. Then Export. Choose the file location to save. and your photos and videos will be saved on your computer. Now, connect your Android to the computer. Select the device that you are connected. Go to the DSIM folder. Then copy the data you just exported from iPhone into the folder. Just wait. If you have tons of data, it will take a while. Once done. Right now go back to your Android. Now you can see all your photos and videos are all here. This program is also free and suitable for those who have a lot of data. Method 4. Transfer by Smart Switch on Android. This method requires an iCloud account. Go into Settings. Scroll to the top. And sign in with your Apple ID. Tap on iCloud. Make sure that photo is turned on. Now go over to your Android device. And go into Settings and scroll down to Accounts and Backup. It might be in a different menu depending on what model of Android device you have. Tap on Bring Data from Old Device. Tap on Receive Data. Here you can also do this transfer from Windows and Android phones. Tap iPhone. Tap on Get Data from iCloud instead. And then enter your Apple ID username and password. Next you will get a prompt on your iPhone to allow the Android device to connect to your iCloud account. Just tap Allow, and then enter your verification code on your Android device. Here, you can choose what you want to transfer. But make sure you tap the arrow, and then select All. Otherwise, it will only copy the last 30 days of photos, and then tap Transfer. Be patient. The speed of data transfer depends on your data size. Then you have successfully transferred. You can see, photos and videos on your Android phone are just like those on your iPhone. Okay. Here is today's tutorial. Hope you like it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you succeed in one of the methods. If you like this video, you can subscribe us. Stay tuned for our next videos.